green flag is out there and we're away and racing with saloon and stock cars in their heat number one sorry it is uh, bumper trophy final i'm uh, still backwards slightly so the action uh, getting underway in this one uh, for the bumper trophy So through the cup, 192, uh, Rob Heans that uh, lead in the way then. Oh, we've got a whole uh, pile who've gone in uh, underneath uh, the big screen on the top end. So quite a few uh, getting uh, caught up uh, in that lot. So the rest of the uh, cars are uh, picking their way uh, out of that. Oh my word! And. Uh, Dramas in front of us uh, in uh, the uh, 300 machine. So we look for our leader coming through. 214, you all get to take around. There's more chaos up there. Could mean that there's uh, a change uh, in the running order. We'll try and uh, sort that out. Trophy, Miss Stallard just going into turns one and two going down the back straight. Trent Alfredson comes on still there, gets a big hit there from uh, Tommy Barnes. A few others going struck as well, but Tommy Barnes on a charge in car number 26 going down the back straight. Sends the driver immediately in front of him right into the fence, and uh, that was one of the yellow top drivers. In fact, it was 350 Tommy Parry who went uh, flying in there, but it's Rob Heans who leads going down the back straight. A decent looking lead. At uh, this stage of the proceedings, Trent Alfredson in a bit of trouble at the end of the back straight, trying to uh, reverse out, and he's going to pull out. Oh, my goodness me! Right uh, in front of the traffic. Luckily, he they all take uh, avoiding action, managed to miss him on that case stage. But up front is Robert Heath Louise. Tommy Barnes looks like he's the right. So uh, it's Tommy Barnes second, and Tommy Parry third. Here's how it looks at the moment. Timmy Barnes is coming through the grid nicely from the Red Sox. He's been showing good form around the Adrian Flux Arena recently. And uh, Robert Heath's coming under a bit of stick from the uh, back mark in West Starmer. And that's uh, certainly causing Heath's uh, time at Starmer. Looks to unlap himself. Heath, though, uh, puts the bumper in on Starmer. I think he thinks he's actually there leading the race because uh, Heath launches himself into the back end of the 525 car but it's still actually heat to lose. oh my word somebody goes out there with the Dutch drivers rejoins in front of uh, the traffic but gets going again Tommy Barnes now though starting to loom large in the mirrors of the leading white Tommy in goes Tommy Barnes with a bumper no missing him out sends Robert Heats wide Tommy Barnes is going to cut the inside leads heat into the fence and it's Tommy Barnes who leads now in car number 26 192 Robert Heats second Tommy uh, Parry. He said, oh, back straight, several cars going out there, including Mansi in car number 19. It's Tommy Barnes then who leads in car number 26. Goes a bit wide there. Robert Heats is uh, being forced wide again by the back marking Tom Yield. He's not in a lot of luck with the back marking cars, isn't Heats? Tommy Parry coming through, and uh, Parry will uh, send Heats up the fence there to try to come to second place. And, uh, Timmy Barnes it is, who is also looking to take advantage and move at the place. In fact, Timmy Barnes in calibre 131 moves into a third spot. It's Tommy Barnes who leads now in calibre 26. Timmy Barnes coming through into second place in calibre 131, just ahead of uh, 350 Parry. Tommy all the lap down just behind them, but in the middle of uh, this lot. It's like Robert Heath's currently rounding out the top four. Calibre 307 gets spun now there, going into turns three or four. But it's uh, Tommy Barnes who leads the way in a car number 26 as uh, West Starmer sort of uh, goes into the fence there quite hard in car number 5 2 5. But up front is Tommy Barnes really mixing in with the back markers, is uh, Tommy. As on the inside of Barry Russell, a bit of a surprise to see him so far back. He's uh, not leading the way. Here's uh, Russell in car number 600, but it's Barnes who leads in car number 26. Second place is another Barnes, that's a 131 Timmy. Then it's still 350 Tommy, parried in third. 
So the uh, Bars family certainly uh, doing well in this one. But uh, Tommy Parry putting a lot of pressure on Timmy Barnes, the star grade driver in 131. Oh, and Georgie Ball there having a bit of a nibble at the back of the lead car, 26 Barnes. But uh, Tommy uh, rides that one out fairly easily. Still leads the way. In car number 26, Georgie Bolt trying to uh, stay with him, but not succeeding in car number 56. But he's a lap down, of course, anyway. Second place is actually Timmy Barnes in car number 131. And uh, in third place, it looks like it's still Parry in car number 350. So there are three laps to go next time. We'll start a few laps next time around for Tommy Barnes in car number 26, who uh, leads the way. Timmy Barnes second. We're suddenly in the walls here last time with uh, Diggy Smith and uh, is bouncing back well at the moment. Three laps to go it is now to Tommy Barnes in car number 26. Tommy Barnes the leader in 26, 131 Timmy Barnes in second place. Tommy Parry is still third in car number 350. Oh and Timmy Barnes uh, not uh, messing about going past these back markers. Georgie Ball looks like he's got a bit of a tent as a back marker in car number 56. He's certainly doing what he can to uh, keep up with uh, Tommy Barnes, but uh, Tommy, with uh, a clear track in front of him, should now start to uh, get uh, away from any potential actions that the uh, back marker may have in store for him. And just over a lap to go now, it is for the race leader Tommy Barnes in car 26 in the lead. Timmy Barnes is still second in car number 131, but uh, Tommy is uh, leading this one. Just got the back marking driver behind him, and in fact, uh, he's going to. Done this one by a good margin, a fairly straightforward race as far as Salute like our races go. For a victory for Tommy Barnes in car number 26. Timmy Barnes looks like he's come home second in car number 31. And completing the top three is uh, 350 Parry, there's 450 Jackson there. Gets a uh, turn down the uh, class defence, but uh, manages to get going once again. Okay, Mr. Adam Woodhurst, rest please. things to do and yeah see what happens uh, later on there's still two all comers to go and uh, we're just to lose anything is possible yeah so uh, we'll get him over let's get our third place driver over first here he comes 350 thomas parrin so we get thomas over mr parrin back in third in 350 with a very good drive Well done, mate. Congratulations. Uh, a lively old race, that is for sure. Um, got held up early on, managed to get yourself back in, and the performance of the car and yourself, you're back here on the start-finish line uh, twice in two weeks. Yeah, that's what's going wrong. <laughs> I literally unloaded it straight off the trailer on the track. Engine that did pretty good, but that's spot on. Yeah, it seems to go well for you. Two all-comers to go, and now all-comers means that you can let your hair down a bit, but with a result like that, you'll be looking for something a bit more positive again. Got to find some petrol for him first. Ah, OK. <laughs> second place in that one, then let's get 1-3-1. One, one. Timmy Barnes in for second. Well done, Timmy. Uh, I'll let you get your trophy there for second spot. And we'll get him over for a quick chat. Uh, Timmy, congratulations once again. Now, I know uh, you like to win, but uh, I suppose if you were going to lose to someone, it would be Tommy. Yeah, definitely. But at the end of the day, he drove a good race, so, you know, Maybe another three laps I could have got him, but he was doing the same lap every lap and I couldn't catch him, so well done to him. Goes like this, doesn't he? A bit hot and cold, it's all or nothing, but he flew the nest early on. And there's so many red tops out there in a minute. You seem to get through the pack quite well, but like you say, if there's one or two quicker, lower graded drivers out there, it's very, very difficult. Yeah, definitely. Well, like you can see, whites, yellows, blues, and reds, they're all similar sort of speed. It's down to getting through the traffic. But yeah, well done to Tommy. And the results keep coming well for you? Yeah, definitely, especially around here, so keep it coming. Yeah. Too right, mate. Well done. And here he is then, the bumper trophy winner for 2019, two time winner now, 26 Tommy Bell. There we go, we're getting him over for a uh, photo top. Look at the major that he's straight in there, there we go. Brilliant stuff, we'll get Tommy in for a quick chat. Tommy, congratulations. 
from blue, you're a danger to all if it all goes right, and that went perfectly for you. Well, I'm a danger full stop, aren't I? Well, yeah, I was going, yeah, on and off the track. No. <laughs> Lovely stuff, though. When it goes like this for you, we've had this conversation before, it all seems to be all or nothing sometimes. When it falls right and your head's in the game, and it, you take some stopping. That's it, that's what it's about, racing. Yeah, e even Timmy can stop me there. That's it, good. <laughs> One nil on the night, we'll see if you can make it another one. That's it. <laughs> uh, Two-time winner of the bumper trophy now. Kevin puts a lot into the sport. You must be uh, over the moon to get your name on that twice now. Yeah, you do. He's a good bloke, he is. Yeah, he's, uh, that's making the sport really good. Yeah, too right. Well done, Tommy. I'll let you get on board for a lap of honour. Round they come. Timmy, Thomas on board as well. And... Uh, <laughs>